Assalamu alaikum my dear students Ramadan Mubarak to all of you and wish you a safe happy and blessed Ramadan My dear students in our previous class we have discussed this simple present tense but today we are going to recap one more important use of this simple present tense and it is it is used to express universal truths and facts my dear students whenever you have to express some universal truth or a general fact at that time you have to use this simple present tense and the structure or the sequence to be followed is subject then the first form of the verb then the other words here you know what you have to do with singular subject you have to use the singular verb with plural subject you have to use the plural verb and if the subject is i or you at that time you will also use the plural form of the verb now my dear students let's go through some examples the sun sets in the west it is a universal truth this statement it is having universal acceptance universal validity all the people of the world believe that the sun sets in the west so here the sun is the subject and we have used sets singular verb another is water boils at 100 degree celsius again this is a universal truth this is a fact also that water boils at 100 degree celsius next example the earth revolves round the sun so here you can see that this is also a universal truth and here earth is one planet so we have used singular verb revolves okay my dear students are you getting me the sun rises in the east again the sun it is a singular subject so here we have used rises singular verb water freezes at 0 degree celsius now you see my dear students it is also a general fact of truth that water freezes at 0 degree now people depend on earth's resources so it's also a fact that all mankind all human kind they depend on earth's resources so here people people means so many so many human beings so it is a plural subject here we have used depend depend is also a plural verb because we have not added any s es or ies to it next example plants give us oxygen you see my dear students plants it's a plural subject so many plants now we have used give with it so plants give us oxygen a magnet attracts iron a magnet it is a singular subject one magnet a magnet so we have used attracts actually the verb is attract now as our subject is singular we have added an s to it we have made it a singular verb so the sentence becomes a magnet attracts iron the president of the usa lives in the white house again it is a fact it is a truth that the president of the united states of america lives in the white house you see my dear students the president it is one one personality the president of the usa so we have used lives live is actually the verb we have added s to it so it becomes lives because the subject is singular we have used the singular verb with it my dear students let's recap our today's lesson this simple present tense it is used to express universal truths universal truths which are having universal validity universal acceptance and general facts as well now the structure subject plus first form of the verb plus other words you know that with singular subject you use singular verb with plural subject you use plural verb and with i or you you use plural verb now some examples the sun sets here the sun is the singular so we have used sets actually verb is set but we have added s to it so it becomes the sun sets again water boils water boils the earth revolves we don't say the earth revolve we say the earth revolves because the earth is a one planet singular planet the sun rises again the sun is one body individual body so we have used rises water freezes water freezes people depend people depend 
plants so many plants they give so here plural subject so plural verb a magnet attracts here a magnet is singular so we have used attracts we have added s to the verb to make it singular the president of the usa one personality one person so we have used lives here we have added s to the verb so singular subject has taken a singular verb so my dear students hope you have understood this simple present tense and the recapitulation of this tense as well inshallah we'll see you soon in the next class till then take good care of yourselves fi amanallah